Hey guys, this is Crash, and I have got the little Chuck here. Okay, I forgot what I paid for it. I think it was like 70 $75 maybe, somewhere around there. Okay, so let's just show you what the size is compared to other stuff that I have first. Okay, so little chuck and the uh, depth cover. It's just a little bit bigger than it. Okay, uh, GG Transformer. So it comes up to about the second sleeve on it. and the uh, prodigy okay so that's what it looks like compared to the prodigy <coughs> okay so the battery goes in the back end over here so you just put the battery in the back like so and you are ready to go and at the top I don't know some of you guys might own the Prodigy so you can see how it's got a little reservoir at the top to capture all the extra e-liquid that might fall out from the atomizer if you overfill it so it's somewhat like that in in a sense but it'll it's easier to clean this one because I mean the way it's built you can't really get in here but really doesn't really matter it's not that big of a deal anyway okay so that's what it looks like compared to other stuff now the chuck itself okay how about I just start with the things I don't like about it first okay the switch on it it's got the really small switches and you know after you keep pressing it for a while like I prefer big switches and when you keep pressing this it actually starts to dig into your finger after a while after repeated use I believe but I don't know it's never really been a big deal for me whatever I don't care and okay I'm using a 510 using a 510 atomizer so I've got an adapter on here too that's why it's kinda big it's I think standard they all come with a 901 connection on these okay let's see I don't know if you can tell but okay you, you can't really tell but I'm trying to hold this as straight as I can well, I don't know if you can really tell but the the atomizer connection on it is is slightly crooked just a little so the, the atomizer is kind of leaning over this way no yeah I don't know one of the, whichever way you hold it I suppose it's just leaning over a little bit but whatever it's hardly noticeable it's not a big deal okay um that and the thing it's it's at the, I believe it is all copper so it is a little heavy and I do security at night so I'm pretty sure that if I chuck the little chuck at somebody I could probably bust their head open so maybe that's a good thing and the little one you can u I'm using CR123A batteries in it and you know you're, you're getting your usual 3.7 volt throat hit and loads of vapor uh, let's see loads of vapor nice throat hit that's pretty much it So, I don't know. This is this is value for money. It's inexpensive. It looks good. You can customize it. Cause Jeff, the guy that's making these, he's he's been customizing them for people, which is really nice of him. So I mean, you can get it any way you want. 
for the most part. Again, the switch position at the top, that, that's, very, that's very natural, I don't know. Because, I mean, it's not at the bottom, so you don't have to, you know, push down with your pinky or anything. And, or you don't have to be doing this the whole time. Or you don't have to hold it like this and then use the back of your hand to push it in. But the switch, the switch is a bit uncomfortable on it. Like, I mean, I'd really prefer another switch on this. So here, I'll, I'll try to see if I can get an imprint on my little finger. Actually, it's a big finger. Okay. I don't... Yeah, it's not... Can you see it's like a little red dot on it? I don't know. Maybe you can tell. But since the button is... It just kind of digs into your finger. But whatever. That and the thing is really well built. I mean, you could drop it and you could pick it back up and I'm sure you'd be good to go again. Now, the switch on it is not lockable. So, you might burn yourself if you put it in your pocket or whatever, but, you know, as long as you're careful you'll be fine and you are like I believe it's good value for money but that's just me you know someone might think it's too expensive or it's not well built but that's their thing but I like it and I don't know there's really not much else to say about it I think I might get a second one and get it customized to a bit get it a bit more personalized So yeah, there you go, um, this is Crash, and I wasn't drunk this time, so this review is going back up now, and I'll catch you guys around the forums, take care.